Hi everyone, it's Jenny here. Thanks for joining me today. This is my second process video. I hope that um, you enjoyed the last one. I hope you enjoy this one. And thanks for being with me while I work out the bugs. And hopefully um, I can get better as we go along. So I just showed you a collection of papers that I'll be using for this layout. And they were from the Highline collection from Basic Grey. I think I only had three pieces of paper to work with and one sticker sheet. So doing the best I can with what I've got there. And so here I am trying to decide what papers I'm going to use for the background. I've got a couple of pieces of paper also from the, um, what is it called? Sorry about that, the Amy Tangerine collection plus one which actually went really nice with this collection as well. So I've decided that I want to use that pink piece of paper there. So I've cut the branding strip off. I'm going to cut the middle out so I can use that later on. And I've decided that I want to use the white piece of paper for the main part of the background with the pink border showing underneath. So just putting the sticky on and taking that off. And here I am deciding do I like that black and white words? No, I actually just liked it on the pink paper. So here I'm going to fuss for a while with a few of the embellishments. Those feathers are some die cuts from Jenny Bolan. And I'm just taking off the stickers from the sticker sheet. It was a, um, about a 6 by mm, longer than a 6 by 6 6 by 12 sticker sheet. Uh, full of different elements so that's pretty much what I have to work with so I'm cutting them off putting them on wax paper and moving them around on my layout and I've grabbed a couple of doilies from my stash just because I love doilies so they look good on there and at this point in time just seeing where everything goes seeing seeing if I like it or if I don't so I think, what am I doing there? I'm just grabbing some thickers. These were some um, thickers from Dear Lizzie, and they were a nice font, but um, a script font, I think it is. I couldn't figure quite figure out how to join them up where they were meant to join together and connect together, but I think I did okay. So just doing my title there, working out where I wanted to place that. And you will see that I will fuss about with that, fuss about with lots of elements, moving them from the top, moving them to the bottom, moving to them to the side, moving them back to the top again. Lots of fussing, lots of changing. It looks like I'm being very indecisive. It looks, looks like I... And making way too many decisions about where things are going to go but that's actually just a part of the creative process that I really enjoy um, taking the elements and seeing where I want to put them visually looking at them in all different places and eventually settling for where I like them the best so that's a part of it you will see me in my videos lots of fussing lots of pulling around Lots of second guessing and putting them back sometimes where they belong or finding a home straight away. So I've just decided that it needed a little bit more colour underneath the pink paper. And so I cut a couple of strips from one of the pieces of paper from the collection. And used both sides and just slotted them under there. I haven't stuck anything down yet. I've just uh, put that photo down so I've decided that's where that's going to go. And I'm going to definitely use that grey piece with the feathers there. So this must be where I'm committing that, yep, I'm liking the look of this so far. So I'm happy where all that's going to go. We're sticking it all together now and committing to it. So this part didn't take very long to get to, get to this point. Sometimes it takes me a lot longer. There I am fiddling with the doily, not quite in the position that I wanted it to be in. But we got there in the end. Hopefully this speed's okay. Having a, having a bit of trouble um, trying to upload it to 
YouTube. My internet doesn't like the, the length of the videos even though they're only fairly short. So at this stage when I'm making this video I haven't processed any of them because we're having some problems. So hopefully if you're seeing this it means that we've sorted the problems out. So here I am, just still sticking all the elements together, starting to build up some layers, put a little bit of visual interest there, seeing where I like it, yep, tucked under there, maybe I'd like that one under there and that down there, but nope, I go back to where it was and stick it all together. So here I am trying to work with the see whether that paper would work under there and I could, couldn't quite get it under had a little too much sticky tape under there couldn't quite squish under there but I got it to work in the end a little bit of maneuvering a little bit of patience and it worked this collection was a really pretty collection was bright and cheery I like the bright papers the happy papers I call them had a bit of color and it's just a lovely collection but like I said I couldn't get this in Australia I couldn't get it where I live in the shops and so I think this was a few pieces that I got online and was really happy to be able to get it that and the Amy Tangerine paper pad so I could only make one layout with it but that's okay one layout is better than none. So here I am fussing, wanting to put a, a few little bits of texture underneath the photo. Looked a bit um, bland sitting there, a little bit plain. I love using the scraps of paper. I don't think you could ever throw out your scraps. I can't throw out my scraps because I find a little place to tuck them. And all those people who love um, keeping their scraps and using them you will understand what I mean you look at a piece of paper and see the potential no matter how small it is because there's always somewhere where you could tuck that one tiny little bit of paper so here I am here I'm fussing with those little squares they were on the stick so all these elements are on the sticker sheet and I tried to use that green arrow but it was just introducing another color and I only had that one green sticker so I didn't really want to, at this stage, introduce a completely different colour, so I decided not to use that. So I've placed those little tiny squares, but you'll see that I pull them up and fiddle with them lots until I finally find the place that I want them to be, which isn't there. I'm putting them down and then I look and think, oh, I've got two pink ones next to each other. No, I don't really want the pink ones there, and I fiddle and I move them. So... I think that's staying there now. That's going to live there. I've got a couple of little um, what are they? Chipboard feathers, and they're from an Aussie company called Scrap FX. And I grab my Prima chalk inks, the little ones that look like irons, and I'm just adding a little bit of yellow colour to them, as it was a little bit dull on the page, leaving them the way they were. So just fussing there in that little cluster, I know that's where I want it to stay. So I think at this stage I'm just fiddling, moving it around and seeing where I like it the best. I'm actually pulling out my glossy accents, putting a pin in there to open the bottle and sometimes I have success straight away and other times I've got to put that pin in and move it about before the glossy accents comes out. So I'm just doing the same for that little cluster area. I've decided I've liked that there. So I've stuck down the main feather, the Jenny Bolin die cut feather and have painted the chipboard one with the yellow ink and have added that with some glossy accents. So I'm not sure about the top. Still fiddling. Okay, no, I've decided that this is where it's going to go. Committing to it. So taking the feathers off, or the letters, sorry, off the little bit of wax paper and committing to putting them right there. 
and then I can fiddle with that cluster. So I've left the strings on the feathers. They came with a piece of um, you know, embroidery floss on the ends, which was quite long, but later on I trim them up a little bit. Love those giant orange um, jewels there, but I didn't end up using them. Actually, I did end up using them, but I put them on at the end of the process video. Once I'd finished, I looked at it and decided, yeah, no, it needs a little bit of something, so I have added them to the page. So here I am, fiddling with those little squares again. They come off, come on, move around. Thankfully they're very forgiving because I do like to move things around the page a lot. I'm trying to work out where I want that little orange sticker, whether I want it there or not. I think I actually take it off and don't use it at all. Playing, seeing where I can fit any of the other stickers from the sticker sheet. It could be hard sometimes when you limit yourself to only a few pieces of paper and a sticker sheet and you want to embellish everything. So I'm really trying to make use of everything on that sheet, trying to find a spot, trying to find a home for everything so that I don't have anything left on there. I think in the end I do have a couple of um, elements left that I couldn't quite make a go of them on the page and couldn't quite use them but that's okay I'm sure I will find a spot somewhere to use them in another project I'm a hoarder I keep everything so it all comes in handy at some stage so I pulled out some little wood veneers there and wood veneer hearts and some little arrows and I don't end up using the little arrows I take them off but I use the little hearts and I've pulled out some, up you can see up the top there, some little flares. So I've used them on the page. And I think all the ones that I've used are from a Aussie company called A Piece of Cake Designs. So they are, I'm sure that A Piece of Cake something. That's really helpful, isn't it? I am so sorry. I'm sure it's a piece of cake designs. So there I am committing to those. I'm putting them on some foam dots, I think. Here I go, trimming down the string of the embroidery floss, moving that along. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Okay, so colouring the little hearts. Sticking them down with the glossy accents. Put a bit too much on there, so I may as well put that on the, the back of the other one. And it's looking like it's pretty much finished, except for the ink which I love to use so I've got a little bottle of Indian ink I love to use it with a, a quite a large paintbrush gives beautiful big splatters of paint or ink and that's how I finish my layouts love to use my spots of ink and one last little sticker that says it's a beautiful day trying to find a home for that so thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a great day bye